How to fix the error occurred with fingerprint sensor. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimal from App Guide, and in today's guide video, I will show you how you can fix the error occurred with fingerprint sensor. But before we get started, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So sometimes what happens is that your fingerprint sensor could not be working correctly. Sometimes your on display fingerprint or maybe the back side of your fingerprint could not have been working properly. One of the most common reasons for this is due to screen replacement for example if you've broken screen and then you simply try to replace it and if you had the own display fingerprint depending upon the quality of the display you will not be able to register the new fingerprint in my case this happened when i was using my galaxy a50 on my previous device and i tried to simply use the on-screen fingerprint but then it simply wouldn't register my fingerprint just like that and one of the most common reasons let's say you don't have the, those kind of issues you you've not actually replaced the screen the other thing could also be because of the protection glass that you're currently putting on so you can see in my case I also have a tempered glass which actually is just sticked onto my glass sometimes that could cause the issue as well so you might want to try actually taking it out and then simply trying to install and register with a new fingerprint right on this case and once you've done that hopefully that would have fixed the issue if not then the other thing I would recommend doing is to simply restart your device so on my Samsung phone it is actually the volume down and the power buttons combination so I will simply press and hold the volume down and power buttons together and you'll see this option which says restart simply tap on it in order to restart start your android device and then actually refresh all of the apps if none of these issues work then you can also simply lastly factory reset it once you reset it you could go ahead and then simply actually try to see if your issue has been fixed or not so tap on the reset button and then go to reset all settings if you want before trying to factory reset your data i would also recommend resetting all of your settings and then tap on the reset settings button hopefully that would fix the issue we hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video